MX3D is a startup from the Netherlands with an interesting twist compared to the automated construction methods we've featured in the past because they use metal. In this video, we're going to take a look at many of the projects MX3D has completed along with the origins of their technology and things they're working on to achieve in the future. Every startup originates from a simple vision and from that vision they dictate a mission. The vision of MX3D is that robots will help shaping our future. Automated and autonomous production of unique computer generated parts and structures will become a standard production method in the next 10 years. By applying artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques, robots will be able to perform their tasks better every time. In our vision, MX3D robots will build lightweight constructions like bridges or complete buildings, optimized custom ships, or even Mars colonies in full autonomy. With this vision in mind, the founders set off on developing a prototype for their technology. There are many challenges to 3D printing metal, one being the high temperatures required to make it malleable. After some trial and error, they were able to optimize their machine to be able to essentially weld metal in a large 3D space with the ability to stop in one area and move to another. There are many benefits of this, like the ability to print in many different directions, whereas plastic or concrete wouldn't be able to hold its form. After their proof of concept, they were able to build this warehouse out of shipping containers to further develop their technologies. Another major challenge when 3D printing metal is trying to create a solid material. This technique, if done improperly, can lead to many air bubbles or pockets within the build. These imperfections significantly decrease the structural integrity of the material. The mission of MX3D is clear. Introduce the advantages of 3D metal printing to new high-impact industries. In close collaboration with global industry partners, their software engineers create intelligent, robust, and easy-to-use robotic additive manufacturing technology, enabling users to 3D print large objects in metal. Now let's jump into some of the unique prints and print styles MX3D has achieved. Everyone knows the Netherlands loves their bicycles, and MX3D does too. This model was printed in solid metal. The texture left behind by the printer is incredibly unique. It almost resembles that of a meteorite. I bet it would look pretty cool next to a Cybertruck. The frame was printed in two parts and is hollow on the interior. To design the model, they used some artificial intelligence to optimize the structural integrity and reduce the material usage. Later on, we'll examine how they did this with their bridge project. With the same goal in mind of reducing material usage while maintaining structural integrity, they set off to improve what they had done. For this second model, instead of printing a solid shell for the exterior of the bike, it's structurally supported by a mesh. I can't imagine how challenging it must be to watch over this printer while it's working because it requires an arc shield to examine the extruder directly. It's easy to see how this method would use far less material and be much more efficient in terms of build time than having a completely solid shell for the bike. This print style almost resembles a small customized rebar cage. They automated the construction of a few units at a time and then human welders came in to attach the segments. Once they got everything welded together sufficiently and grinded down any defects, they attached the gears and took it for a spin. It certainly seems sturdy enough to me and is obviously light enough to be lifted without too much effort. Now let's get into some of the technology behind the printer. MX3D utilizes ABB robotic arms for their system. They call it the Robotic Wire Arc Additive Manufacturing System, or WAM. They use an IRC5 controller. In addition, they use a power source and a wire arc welding machine. A proprietary MX3D box continuously logs data and operates as a process controller. They also need a build plate to print on and standard safety measures like ventilation, a robot cage safety mechanism, and weld light protection. There are many benefits to this technology, a major one being freedom of form. As opposed to typical 3D printing, this method with metal is able to have extreme freedom in the angles and is even able to print upside down. Their methodology 
implementing softwares and artificial intelligence allows minimum material usage. Other methods like CNC would leave you with a big heap of scrap metal, probably heavier than the object you intended to print, whereas MX3D probably only has a slight amount of scrap left over from the tube the concrete is extruding from. Most importantly, this method offers a significant cost reduction compared to their closest competitors, which would be an SLM powder bed printer. The MX3D system should be able to complete a similar project to an SLM system for about a fifth of the cost, mostly due to the difference in material cost. The material needed for the MX3D system is only 5 euros per kilogram, as opposed to $50 per kilogram for a stainless steel powder that would be required for SLM. The speed is also a very attractive factor. Their CAD to print time is less than an hour in most cases. This means that for them to take a 3D model and convert it into a path for the printer can be done over a lunch break. This is especially impressive considering how unique their print method is from other types of 3D printing. Here's an example of how they translate a 3D model into a print path. I can't tell you exactly what's going on here, but it appears as though they're creating a system that identifies which areas need to be filled in and how the extruder head can navigate from one location to the next without interfering with prior prints. To accomplish this, the print head must jump around every once in a while from one location to the next, so it must be able to stop and resume extrusion on command. To create these print paths requires complex algorithms that are a puzzle to decipher. Last year, it likely would have taken much longer to parse the G-code from a 3D model. However, next year, I bet it will be much faster. After proving their technology on a small scale, MX3D wanted to accomplish something truly enormous, so they set out to 3D print a bridge. To create something this large that requires structural support enough for people to walk over is a significant feat of engineering, considering nothing like it has ever been accomplished before in metal with autonomous robotic arms. This project took them six months. They're using small printers compared to the size of this object, so it had to be completed in sections. One day, we might see them scale up to a larger size printer that could accomplish projects of this size at a much faster rate. Like with the bicycle, they didn't just decide on this design at random. They used software to determine the optimal form for load tests. By setting parameters, designers can give suggestions to the software the software then experiments within those parameters, generating a wide range of different options that are possible. From there, it structurally tests each of them and spits out the most efficient one. This method is terrific for identifying solutions that people may not even think of. It's impossible for a human to consider so many different designs and analyze all of them, but a computer is able to do it very quickly. With LiDAR technology, MX3D got a 3D virtual image of the area the bridge would be installed. This was critical to determine the actual real-world measurements the bridge would need to be printed in in order to be a snug fit above this river. Next, they inserted their digital model of their bridge into their digital model of the environment it will be built in. Now let's hear from the CEO of Autodesk. So, Carl, can you maybe tell me why you believe in MX3D? Oh, well, one thing I love is the idea of just pushing the boundaries mm -hmm. and trying things that haven't been done before. Mm -hmm. And so I love the idea, you know, and as we were just saying, it's fun to see when you, when you try crazy new ideas, you learn all kinds of things, mm -hmm. you know, and um, so I'm, I'm just excited about the idea. And I love the idea of doing it in the public, okay. you know, because so much of this stuff happens you know, behind lab doors and then people write papers. And I like the idea of not only doing a public thing, but opening up the whole process to the public so they can see it. And finally, here's my personal favorite project from MX3D. A common thought of people first introduced to 3D printing is the question, can a 3D printer print a 3D printer? Even though no 3D printer today is capable of completely replicating itself, this model from MX3D is off to a good start.
By utilizing their design software, MX3D was able to create a custom component that could replace a piece in a robotic arm 3D printer. Many of the parts on the robotic arm they're building a part for are metal anyway, so using 3D printed technology to reduce the total material needed for a part with similar structural integrity would be advantageous for transport and also clearly advantageous for part replacement if they're able to simply create any metal part they need on the go. I know I say this all the time, but we've truly barely scratched the surface of potential for this technology and we're only beginning to see some of the ways it offers new possibilities. Finally, let's examine how this technology can be implemented in the construction world for a building. Remember one of the key advantages is the ability to use freeform design and custom one-off objects. Oftentimes architects have big dreams of things they'd like to see built, but these dreams often elude reality because the materials to create them simply don't exist. This has become increasingly common as prefab and off-site part construction lead to fewer and fewer options. MX3D has printed this custom one-off piece that will connect structural timber on the build. This will allow for an otherwise unachievable natural free-flowing structure. I can't wait to see what MX3D does next.